All right, I'm back. I'm booting up Steam right now, and Prey will be back shortly. Sorry about that. I don't know why Prey froze, and for some reason it completely locked my primary monitor, so I couldn't even get to the task manager to try and, to try and quit Prey. I just had to restart the whole computer. But, no matter. Let's give it a whirl. And if it breaks again, well, we'll probably just have to call it a night. But. And I'll do some research into what might be going wrong. My last quick save wasn't too far back. Hopefully, we can actually enter the lobby this time. Once more. Don't fuck with me this time, please. Ha! <laughs> Alcohol can prevent fear. That's amazing. Thank you, Prey. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, too? Alright, Morgan, keep it together. Actually, as I recall, I've got some food so I can get a little bit of health back. Yeah. Well, hi, buddy. I don't know if you can see him on camera, my dogs. One of my dogs is right here asking for some attention. Alright, looks like we're now at that magic point where all roads lead to psychotronics. Once again. So that is where we'll go. For now.
I heard something. Is there a mimic somewhere? Tim, hello. How are you, my friend? It's good to see you. Uh, you're you're coming in at what's probably the end. I'm not going to be able to play much longer because Tiffany's going to be home soon. But out to Psychotronics. The Psychotronics Lab was built around the Russian Verona 1 satellite that first encountered the Typhon ecology in 1959. We are still on for New Vegas tomorrow morning, for those who are wondering. But... Let's see how much more prey we can do in the next 30 minutes or so. Access the guts. All right, new area. Here we go. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elizard? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Oh, I want that ammo, but I would prefer not to take 92 damage getting it. Must be the Verona 1 satellite. Cool. Nice touch. You might say. attack on mimicked object. Yeah, fuck you. What's up, bro? Figured there'd have to be something down here. I want to make sure I hunt down every mimic I can, too, because that exotic material is what lets me craft neuromods. Hey, Obsidian Carnage. I am really enjoying this game. I'm not very good at it. I'm blind, and I'm playing on Nightmare, but I'm slowly, painfully, head-bashingly making progress. My viewers are having to be very patient on this one, which is not my usual MO, but they seem to be on board with the blind playthrough, so. No entry. Alright, let's hack into security. That definitely seems like a good idea. It's definitely scratching my system shock itch. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's great. I'll take the gun too. I want to recycle it. If I find, if I can find a recycler anywhere.
Shotgun firepower seems like a good move. Turret's not in the up. Oh no. I got two turret bros. Alright. Behind the Iron Curtain. Excerpt from a historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Banda. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. All right, that's interesting. Let's get some nine mil bullets and let's see what we can learn on the PC. One email. Apprehending Dr. Gallegos from Hans Kelstrup to Corey Richard. At the end of the second shift, as per Alex Yu's direct orders, you're, you are to escort Dr. Gallegos to the security office in the main lobby. Okay. I'm already looking for a crew person. What are my utilities? Door controls. Let's keep the security booth unlocked. Area map. Sure. Let's get it. Looking Glass Station! Yeah. We all miss Looking Glass, Arcane. We miss them very, very much, just like you apparently do. Alright. Let me bring out my turret buddies. That's what I've been missing. Come on, bros. I don't like the look of that shit at all. So, let's get them both out here. Wait, I can hack him? What's that gonna do? Yeah, these are the first turrets I've seen since I got my hacking upgrades. Diagnostic check. Verbose. What did that do? Does anyone know what hacking the turrets does? I can't I can't tell what that changed. Are there hostile turrets later on that I can hack to turn them friendly? Is that what that's for? Clean room preparation. Gentlemen and ladies. I need leverage two to get in there. I should probably I should probably get leverage too next cuz it's locking me out of area exploration. Crispin Boyer. Oh, right. You get your ass out here and face my turret buddies. Crispin.
somewhere, but maybe not. Nope. I'm trying version 0.7.6. I'm diagnosed to check visuals, IFF, nominal power load, nominal actuators, nominal telescandling error. Please contact engineering. They get him? They did! Ah, oh, turrets are the best. Thanks, buddies. Alright. The Starbender Cycle, Book 3, Spatial Delivery. Excerpt from Book 3 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zlor he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones, and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zlor's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber, saving all of your asses. I found the Starbender Prism, and I'm coming in hot. Alright. Sounds like the sort of ridiculous sci-fi novel people make fun people who don't like sci-fi make fun of, but I surmise that's probably the point. Okay, good, we can get in this way. Ooh, I don't like it. Something's off. Interesting. Have to explore down there before we head to the guts. Allison Brady. Man, how do I unlock psionics? I want psi powers. Did he go into the toilet? Is that what just happened? Or is he... did he die? I guess he died. No, 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 he's around. He's definitely fucking around. <coughs> huh. What is this? That sucked. 
<laughs> That's right, though. I got a bunch of med kits and no real cause to use them anywhere else, so... But I'd like to know why I suddenly just couldn't hit that fucker. I guess it doesn't really matter, but come on. Ooh, now what might be through... Ooh, we got more mimics. Okay. Alright, focus up. Oh, it's glued. I see. Thanks, Janos. What you got? P3 dish sample? Psychoscope? This is gonna give a sigh, isn't it? Yes! The Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from Neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Psychoscope. Toggle your Psychoscope with Z to mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing Neuromods. Alright. And I notice I have a sidebar now. Mimic Detection Gen 1. A chipset. Two Neuromods and a Typhon Organ. Alright. Scope Chipsets. Decreases the cooldown time of Psy Powers. Well, that sounds good. Allows detection of hidden mimics. That also sounds highly useful. And we got some Neuromods to boot. I have five. Whoa. Energy. Harness the destructive power of electricity, fire, and kinetic energy. Morph. Manipulate the psychoactive ether to change shape and dupe your enemies. Unknown ability. Oh, I have to scan Typhon to unlock these. Telepathy. Use your mind as a weapon or manipulate technology and objects at a distance. Oh, this shit just got even cooler. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to take firearms one. My neuromods. I'm doing way too little damage with my guns. So. Live specimen required for scanning. Oh, that's too bad. I should have, uh... That's pretty damn cool, though. Alright, once I get back up out of here, that actually feels like a pretty good stopping point. Oh. If you would let me hit the fucking things. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So what did scanning one give me? Ooh. Morph. Mimic matter one. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Uses two psi per second. Mimic matter two. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic slightly more complex machines, such as turrets. Uses two psi per second. And mimic matter three. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic complex machinery, such as operators. Uses two psi per second. Cool. Oh, man. I thought I had enough shit with the standard neuromods. Everything's opening up. I like it. I like it a lot. This game is great, guys. Even it, it, even though I suck at it, like, I'm really having fun. Like, a lot of fun. I know there's a phantom around here somewhere. I'm not sure where he actually wandered off to. Oh, right there. There's 
elsewhere. Scanning. More specimens required. Ooh, and I got research entries. Phantom. Excerpt from Psychotronics Database. Common name Phantom. Scientific name Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Phantoms are not wholly alien. Created by weavers using human remains, phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times. But as noted in observation log number 16210041477, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not attempt to retain any form of actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, phantom must be subdued or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. Scan data. Weakness glue, immunity EMP, scannable powers, kinetic blast 1 and 2. Mimic. Ooh, and I got six levels of research on them. Excerpt from Psychotronics Database. Common name mimic scientific name, Typhon Cacoplasmus. One of the first Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960, mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case number 06480401163, it was observed that mimics use other living organisms as a reproduction medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance with the Pobag protocol, mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a containment rating of less than S4. Scan data. Weaknesses glue, Q-beam, immunity EMP, scannable powers, mimic matter 1, 2, 3. Okay. So now, having scanned a phantom, sure enough, kinetic blast 1. Create a physical blast that deals up to 50 damage and pushes away anything within 5 meters of the targeted area. Cool. Kinetic blast 2. Create a physical blast that deals up to 75 damage and pushes away anything within 6 meters of the targeted area. This shit sounds strong, my dudes. Like, I do like, what, 13 with a pistol sneak attack? We're looking at 50 and 75 on these. How's my turret get broken? Wait a minute, I can scan turrets? That's research? Complete. Turret. Weaknesses, electric, EMP, explosive melee, immunity, psychic, null wave. Turret. Excerpt from the engineering database. Testing log number 1080104.35. Product, Eradicator Auto Turret V0.7.6, Observer Franklin Good. The accuracy grade for this newest turret iteration is a significant improvement over the last generation, with a marked 17% increase. The jamming issues when transitioning to portability mode also seem to have been resolved. Stability is still shit. The psychoscope element works well, but I recommend tuning the sensitivity down somewhat. I've received complaints from Psychotronics that some of the prototypes we sent down for testing are a little high strung. Morgan's notes, easy to upgrade and repair. Base model is weak against some of the larger Typhon. Be careful around them with Neuromods, does not like any Typhon material around. Scan data. Okay, yeah, we got all that. How interesting.
we fucked him up pretty good. Let's loot his corpse. Typhon lure. Typhon lure. A Typhon lure, aka nightlight, emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move toward the lure for a short period of time. Combine with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, or observe Typhon from a safe distance. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using mouse one. Cool. Alright. And now... We've explored everything except the actual way forward. And it is 9 o'clock, so I am going to end the stream here. I apologize for the technical issues. I apologize for the player skill issues. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream some anyway. Uh, I don't think I have anyone new on Twitch. There are only three people watching. But thank you to everyone who did watch on Twitch. I certainly appreciate you joining me, particularly given the issues and the short notice. Uh, if you're watching later on on YouTube... All of my content eventually makes its way over there. I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to the channel. I don't ordinarily do blind playthroughs. People seem to be liking this one, which is why I'm continuing to push forward with it. But if you look at the rest of the channel, you'll see typically I play games I already know how to play and do completionist walkthroughs of them. But uh, that being said, even the blind stuff makes its way over there too. And regardless of where you end up watching, I hope you'll consider joining our Discord server. The link's either in the YouTube video description or the Twitch channel description. We talk about what you'd like to see me play. I make announcements about when I'm going live and everything else. And uh, last bit of housekeeping is the next stream is going to be very soon. It's going to be tomorrow morning. I'm going to finish the Old World Blues expansion to Fallout New Vegas. We're already, for those of you who are familiar, we're already in the Forbidden Zone Dome. The giant robo-scorpion's already dead. We just need to do the final dialogue sequences and decide how we're going to deal with the Think Tank, and that expansion will be over. So, hopefully you can join me tomorrow for that. Thank you for your time, wherever you're watching, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night.